for uh, it seems like the integrity of the truss has been compromised here over here because like the like where the pre-drilled holes are at a, a bent over here with stress with stress because like when i was when i was setting it up or tearing it down you know like when i was putting everything away you know it, it stressed over here and it bent over here and sadly on the other side it broke the other side actually broke where the um where the pre-drilled holes are at it actually broke right here while i was putting it away while it, well when i got home and i and i put everything away i mean i just you know, kinked it a little bit and it just broke off or it, it broke off easily so what i'm deciding to do is i feel that i could fix that using this <clears throat> i bought this dowel at the Home Depot, I bought this 10 footer for about 15 bucks. And what I'm gonna be doing with this, I'm gonna be putting this wood in here. And I, this dowel happens to be just the right thickness too. So I'm able to slide it all the way in and go through there and go through here and then go through there and then bolt it on there. And that way it could be stronger. It could be stronger. It's a way of making it stronger. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And, and I could fix it too at the same time. Fix it and make it more stronger. So as of this point, I pulled this off. I pulled this one off of here. The top. That's the very top. This is the very top of it where this part, the T hooks up to and then this is the point where it broke because this is the part that goes on to the post right onto this part so it looks like this this whole post looks like this and then of course this is where we adjust it of course you know these pins these dr pre-drilled holes is where we adjust the height and so <clears throat> what i'm doing here now <clears throat> I managed to go ahead and put this post and this dowel just happens to be the perfect size too so that I could put it in here and I guess what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, using the dowel I mean I'm going to cut up the dowel at least uh, at least pretty much the length of this pretty much the length of this and then, and then the length of this whole tube here and that way this whole thing could be stronger it'll be stronger it'll be really strong from this point on and i don't have to worry about threats of breaking while i'm doing a gig or some you know don't want that to happen so as of now what i did is i just used the hammer to smooth the, the area where it broke at i just hammered it down all the areas that's rough and smoothed it out and that's with the dowel inside already as you see that and then and then there that way i could slide this coupling or i could call it that i guess that way this coupling will slide in through here without a fight but this part was actually over here it was actually originally right here and that's where the truss broke because it was stressing right there. But now I'm just gonna lower it a little bit more that basically to cover that. So I don't have to see it. I mean, it was over originally over here, as you could see it on this one. That's where, where it was pre, pre hooked up at. See right there. And, and if this, if this part would have been a little lower, it probably would have, it probably would not have happened, but it's actually better. It's actually good that it happened because it's making me go ahead and think of this idea here. So now that it happened, now I'm going to cover this mess up with this, lowering it since it's not that much lower anyway. And then I'm going to have to lower this one too. And that's how I'm working. And then all I got to do is just cut it right here and I'm done. I'm done. 
Okay, now what I'm doing here is I'm drilling these holes now. You know, where the pre-drilled holes are at. I'm putting new ones. But I don't think I need to drill these, though. But I may do it anyway, but I, I, I'll decide. I don't think I really need to, though. But it's only these four that I want to drill. So, but it's a little tricky, though. It's tricky to drill these holes because you have to make sure that the the drill is, I mean, the drill bit is pointing perfectly. Like, so that way it's going to reach the other side without doing anything bad. And so I was checking. And then this pin, it was, it checked the pin and it worked. It fits. It fits in here perfectly now. Perfectly through this dowel so I'm continuing to work on it all I gotta do is just drill the other holes and I'm done okay now now I put that post back on here with the wood with the dowel inside as you can see there's a dowel I didn't drill these holes because I don't need to <clears throat> So that's the dowel, and this is the point right there. Well, see, it's not going to show now. Well, this, see, this is where it broke, and so I'm adjusting it to where it's hiding it, where it's going to hide it, so I don't have to see it. I'm going to adjust it. Uh, it's going to go slightly lower, but it's actually okay, though. It's not going to harm, harm anything if I lower it just a little bit. But it'll make this part taller, though, I guess. Which is actually an advantage. So, that's what I'm doing now. That's all this post. I'm supposed to hook it up to the tripod, and I'm going to do that now. Well, this is the part number if you want to know. It's This is from Home Depot. So, yeah, it's actually the size of this pole. It's um, one, one and three-eighths of an inch. But the thing is that we have to bring this post, the truss post with us, though. We have to bring it with us in Home Depot because not all of these are exactly the same, the same thickness because some of them some poles that they have it may not fit properly so I had to go find one that fit properly find any of these any of these that they have there that fit properly because otherwise so you have to bring the pole with you if you're gonna go to Home Depot so that you could be sure that any pull you buy is gonna fit in here because not every one of these one and three eights will work will fit because of the way they cut some of them so here we go see now it's gone down there and now we're getting here yeah, right now well this um post right here was a little bit crooked because of this right because of this, this post was a little crooked, so I wanted to straighten that out a little bit before I put this pull. I wanted, to, I was straightening it out. I was straightening it out like that by doing this, and then look what's already happening. See, it's already breaking over here. See that? How cheap this is? So that's why this pole is gonna save my ass from this. So I don't have to worry about it. It'll be stronger. It's just going to make it stronger. And that's about it. So what I'm doing now. Just so that this post can go in here. I have to hammer it since it fits just perfectly, you know. And it's good because it's going to stay in there. It's not going to slide off every time I move the truss or anything. Since it fits perfect, it just happens to fit perfectly in here. So, see that post? I'm going to... 
and then I just have to uh, cut it out, cut it out right here, uh, right at the edge, right there. Really easy. And then the tricky part is the drilling of the holes, though. <laughs> okay. Well, this is just after I finished putting these dowels. See, over you could see the dowel, but I just colored it in. And then, and then this is the dowel, the wood right there. See, and so I had already put those in there now. I'm done here, so. And that's it.